Even with Matt Breida being back and Tevin Coleman starting, Raheem Mostert stayed the lead dog in the backfield. He had 10 carries and two targets while playing 60% of the snaps, which was higher than I expected it to be. Breida had six carries and one target. Tevin Coleman had just three carries and basically didn't play like the second half. Mostert is the highest guy on this list, but there are still some major red flags. They have other healthy bodies they can give it to, and they've shown this year they won't use anybody as a bell cow, but Mostert does at least get a decent bump up, given that he played 60% of the snaps, even when they had everyone active, and he's been very effective this year. So Brandon, I want to ask you about Rocky Mostert, because I, I swore off this backfield last week. I might need to undo that, given the snap rate here, given how effective he has been. They are at home against Atlanta next week. Name that salary for Raheem Mostert in this 49ers offense. You Okay, so I accidentally saw it, Okay, and you seem higher on him than I am, and I just want to know what range you're thinking because I don't want to give anything away. Does that mean it's bad? Just, I mean, just, okay. let, just, just let me know. I think that he is worth $6,300 to $6,500. Oh, gosh, I'm way off. I can tell by your face. <laughs> he is $7,500. Wow! <laughs> No way. <laughs> That's so, why, yeah. His snap rate is similar to Aaron Jones, but Aaron Jones gets a lot more targets. And Aaron Jones, you could question whether he's worth $7,500 at times. Most are being 75, I think is huge and way too high, but it's so hard to write him off because he's crazy effective. He's on a very, he's on like the dude who is the smartest run game schemer in like the history of, I uh, that's hyper, hyperbolic, but he's a very good run game schemer. And there are things that still push me there, but that number is really, really high. Yep, it's high. It's tough. And, I mean, you mentioned Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones has to deal with, you know, Aaron Rodgers and the passing touchdowns, but really he has to deal with Jamal Williams. Mostert still has two other guys in the backfield. I mean, <sighs> it. I don't anticipate having much most dirt at yeah. that side. I mean, I think that, I, I think that like he is grading out for me much better than I thought he would. And I am bumping him up in my mind, but bump, bumping him up to $7,500 to me is really, really hard to get to. And I think that there are a lot of paths to failure at that number. So I'm sure we'll talk more about him on Thursday, but it's a, it's a good role. It's still very scary though.